Praise the Lord. Have you been depressed? Suffering from major anxiety attacks, panic attacks, emotional suffocation, tormented memories, memories of the past, memories of people who have tortured you? Has that led you into extreme depression, probably resulting in suicidal thoughts? Grief of a loved one? Someone you were close to who's not around anymore? Or the constant nagging of somebody in your family that has made you feel useless? That has made you turn away from the truth of God? Believe. Today, believe that you will be released from these curses shackles, bondages of depression and all evil forces that are attached with this depression. In Jesus' name, all glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We all know that Jesus went on the cross, right? And we all need to remember why did he go on the cross? 1 Peter chapter 2 Verses 21 to 25. For to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps, who committed no sin, nor was deceit found in his mouth, who when he was reviled did not revile in return, when he suffered he did not threaten, but committed himself to him who judges righteously, who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. For you were like sheep going astray, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. Amen. Matthew chapter 8 verse 17 He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Psalm 30 verse 2 O Lord my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. Amen. Proverbs chapter 4 verses 20 to 22 My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them, and health to all their flesh. Amen. James 5, verses 14 and 15. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. For I will restore health to you. And heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. Amen. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A cheerful heart is a good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Esai chapter 40, verse 29 and 31. He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Psalm 147 verse 3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Amen. 
John chapter 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 8 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Amen. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. Amen. Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. He will take away sickness from among you. Amen. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 24 Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Psalm 103 verses 2 to 4 Praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Amen. These are really powerful verses. And I think each one of us should always take some time out in the day and meditate on these verses. Maybe one of these verses will actually call out to you and help you fight that battle you've been in so long. Because this time, when you call God, when you invite God into your problem, then you just need to stand still and watch the Lord fight your battle, which has already been won on the cross by Jesus. Amen. So let's pray. Just take a comfortable spot wherever you want to sit down. Close your eyes. Let's begin. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, Lord Holy Spirit, Praises and praises and salutations to you, Lord. Father, Lord, I come in prayer today for all the people who've been battling depression, suicidal thoughts, who've been broken, hurt, wounded, emotionally suffocated. Lord, it's only you who can heal them. It's only your grace that makes us strong even when we are weak, Lord. Father, Lord, I pray for all these people that whatever has been attacking them for so long, be it medicinal or generational curses, demonic spirits, satanic forces, whatever it is, Lord, you know all of it. Lord, I pray that all these chains break today, chains of depression, chains of sadness, chains of emotional suffocation, Chains of grief, tension, stress, anxiety, worry. Let all these chains break right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I believe that this has been done. And all the people who have been tortured for so long are set free from today onwards. In your name, Lord, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God bless.